I think what he's done is take charge this weekend of a situation that was out of his control and drifting, you know, inevitably towards a very, very unhappy and undignified sort of conclusion. And so, if you like, he's gone jumping in, you know, waving Union Jacks, if you like, um, rather than be dragged kicking and screaming out of Parliament. And though I won't join those who openly criticise the process and all that, I do understand why he feels uh, understandably aggrieved by the process that has not only taken him out of office, stopped him being prime minister, but now hounded him out of politics. Because as you rightly said, he is a man who uh, defied political gravity and only a couple of years ago, a few years ago, won the biggest majority for 40 years. And so I think those people who voted Conservative, most of them having never contemplated voting Conservative before, it was very much a personalised Boris branded pitch at the last election will feel aggrieved that the man who they wanted as prime minister is now not even in parliament, not to mention in M10.